Good evening, good morning. Check this out, we are coming up to Sherway. And look at that, they are destroying everything here. This is, this is like a monumental building and it is getting destroyed. I started this vlog a little bit late today. As you can see, the sun is already going down over there. And we're, uh, we're heading up the mall. We're with the mommy right here. And we're, uh, we're just gonna chill for a couple hours. It's been, uh, it's been a busy but productive day this morning. So didn't really, I usually don't vlog on Mondays. You guys know that, you, know, you guys know it's usually this new series called Storytime, which doesn't mean we won't do it today because I don't know what's gonna happen, but we might do Storytime still. So you might have to stay tuned for that. You'll see. You know what I love? Skis, looking at skis. You guys don't know, I'm a big skier. Big skier, I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, I love walking into stores and just seeing the new models like this. Holy smokes, that looks so dope. That looks so dope. Expensive, but that looks awesome. This mall has some fancy washrooms. If there's one thing that I recommend to malls, they probably already did this research and everything because I'm, but if there's one thing I would recommend to them, get a nice washroom because if you are satisfied in your washroom, you have a nice pee, a nice poop, you're definitely gonna wanna buy stuff. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything though. Find my mom some glasses. Let me know what you guys think of all these ones that we try on. Here's exhibit A, and you're not even in focus. You're not in focus, there you go, now you're in focus. I don't know about this one. I'm like, so-so, I think yeah. next. I think these are too big still. Still too big? I don't know. These are better than the this other is, ones, but I think they're too big. This is better. Just oh, they feel tight? Yeah, you feel it. I'm not telling you, yeah? No? Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. I kind of like them. I kind of like them. Okay. Which now the other ones. Better? I think these ones might actually be better. The mom is going to sleep on it. You're going to sleep on it, right? Try. Sleep on it. It's going to go. It's hard. It's hard picking glasses. If you think about it, you're uh, you wear them day in and day out, and it has to be good for it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not an easy thing to do. I'm hungry. We're at the Apple Store. Oh boy, I hate this camera. I swear to God. We're at the Apple Store, I'm trying to change some cord for the mom. How do I look? Do I look stylish? I can't hear you. Speak up. Speak up. All right, so left the Apple store. Terrible customer service. I think they have terrible communication and stuff. But hey, they're supposed to be the best in the world for, for everything. But not today. We were disappointed, right? It was a waste of time. Waste of time. Waste of time. I think I deserve some food as a result now. I'm hungry. We got ourselves some chicken teriyaki. I love this stuff. Why? Because it's simple. It's got protein. It's got veggies. It's got rice. It's got all three delicious food groups. And it's got delicious sauce. That totally didn't make any sense whatsoever. All right, my friends. Story time. Story time. That's right, story time. Uh, so we, I wanted to include a little story time in today's vlog. And this story time is in regards to the first time that I started working out and as to why I started working out. And I'll tell you guys, it's much different than most people out there. Most, I'm not gonna say all, but I'm gonna say the majority of us, when we start doing weight training, we're inspired uh, by others' physiques nowadays or we see, you know, we want to bulk up and get stronger, uh, you know, and have big arms, big chest, all that other stuff, right? Um, and then there's the, I guess I would say a smaller amount, and I have to say it is a smaller amount of individuals uh, that train for sports, sport training, strength. And that was, uh, that's what I did. So in high school, we, uh, most of us got introduced to a little bit of weight training. Uh, you know, as part of gym class, you know, you do it once a week kind of thing. And I fell in love with it. I really liked it, really enjoyed it. And it was a way to just, I would go over there during my lunch hours, stuff like that, and just have a good time inside. 
And I actually started weight training to actually strengthen my legs. Why? Because I was a big skier. And ultimately, by getting my legs stronger, and they did, they got a lot stronger. It got to the point where my quads were like hanging over my kneecap. Yeah, it, it was kind of cool and kind of, kind of gross for some people because I got made fun of for it. But that's kind of, nowadays I'd be like, yeah, keep making fun of me for that. That would be cool. But I also had trouble like, you know, even finding pants at that age and things like that. It got kind of inconvenient, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that's how I started. That's how I started into weight training. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting used to putting the camera in a smart spot. I gotta find a way to put tripod in the car, something like that, so the vlogs are easier um, without actually holding the camera. And so I got stronger. Man, my skiing got improved dramatically. Like you have no idea. You guys are probably all annoyed by my camera right now, but bear with me, please, please, please. Anyways, legs got stronger. I was able to ski so much better. And uh, yeah, that's how I started. And then things obviously transitioned into me trying some weight, you know, bench press, arms, all this other stuff, because obviously I did it, but I just focused on legs. And then I just started focusing on everything. And then not too long after, things kind of turned for the worse. If you guys don't know my history, you know, I was hospitalized for anorexia, almost near fatal heart rate. Um, and that is actually gonna be all in my book that comes out at the end of the month, which I cannot wait. Dude, you guys, you guys are gonna love this. The stories in this, and there's so much stuff that I haven't ever talked about in this book. It's gonna be good. I hope you guys like it. But anyways, off topic for a second. Then, obviously, when I got sick, things kinda, instead of doing weight training, I was doing a lot of cardio because, you know, I wasn't eating and I wanted to lose weight faster. So I started doing a lot of running, more like 10, 15 miles a day. Um, and it got it got really bad really really bad. I started losing weight super fast But then when I started when I got out of that and I recovered I used weight training You know as a way of really getting healthier getting better and I really did I definitely did and uh, Over those years, you know over those 15 years Or yeah 15 years I guess since I got introduced to weights. I learned a lot I learned a lot, um, I made a lot of mistakes, um, you know, with training, um, I've tried almost every kind of training there is out there, and it's, it's amazing what you can do to do, to, you know, to strengthen yourself, to become better, better physically fit. And so that's why, like, for example, that's why I started writing programs and things like that, because I felt like, you know, I have learned a lot over the years. And that's why a lot of people are really happy with what I'm <laughs> releasing nowadays. Um, but that's why I'm gonna be keep, keep making programs and that's why I send you guys tips to the newsletter. Yeah, that's right, there's a newsletter. If you haven't subscribed, the link is in the description below. You guys gotta do it. That's where I send programs and guides and stuff like that. Um, you know, workouts that you guys can do. And then on fearspeak.com we do have guides. But getting off topic, I, you know, did something I guess I, I I did legs instead of the usual person like I was training for skiing of all things that is why I wanted to get stronger just to become a better skier speaking of skiing I cannot wait for the season to start as you guys saw earlier in this vlog I saw skis and it like give me an itch an itch I can't even remember did I go skiing last year I can't even remember. I may have not even gone skiing last year, which is just so freaking sad. Maybe we went once, but that's just like, that's pathetic for me. Just absolutely pathetic. But we will go this year. Maybe I should do a meetup at a ski place. That would be so cool. But first we'll do one in the city. Let me know what your schedules are like, guys. Um, yeah, let me know what your schedules are like. I want to do a meetup before the end of the year, and I want to make it cool. I'll probably do it at Dundas Square or at Square One, uh, some big place, and we're going to have fun. We're going to chill for like two, three hours, take pics, shoot the shit, 
Uh, if you guys want to shoot vlogs, we'll get you guys a start to vlogs. Maybe I can push them, things like that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, a couple announcements. The two tanks that get released, um, they get released on Friday. The black D4L and the black uh, Stay Sexy, Stay Hungry, Get Gains tank. Cool? Radical. Um, and then the final thing is the all the cancer initiatives are going really really well shirts and then I actually agreed with Iron Charms to um, we're actually going to be doing 50% of all the proceeds for this month um, to go to cancer research and awareness from those necklaces those stainless steel necklaces right you guys remember these guys yeah you guys all have been loving them so if you guys want one grab one thank you so much for all your daily support as always, my friends, you know what it is. It's Team Furious. It's D4L. It's my wheel. And you guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid.